Lovely shot. That's four. Don't worry about running after that one. A shot of authority from Marvin Adepatu. It's perfectly played. Batmaker's name very much in evidence and uh, that races through. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. In addition, it's a no ball. A cracking car drive there by Marvin Adapatu. That certainly was uh, certainly a shot of absolute class. Everything was in position. You could see the foot going across and uh, that front elbow right in front high and uh, giving the bowler and the fielders no chance whatsoever. This is a classic. A real classic. And he's done it again. Sean Pollock taking a pounding. The Sri Lankans are on fire. 18 for no wicket. Method of dismissal. That's not a bad shot in the end. I thought he might have been in a bit of trouble, but he's been able to keep it down. Fast outfield. Beats the fielder into the boundary. Yes, he's a good player, and he looks in good form uh, at a patu. He does also have the tendency, once he gets started, he tends to go on and get a big one. He's, uh, he's a bit of a nought or a hundred player at a patu. He gets out early a lot. But if he's there for a while, he usually makes the most of it. That is a great shot. Too short, too wide, and smashed away for four. Marvin Adepato is playing some very good cricket here today. He's been the dominant batsman. And uh, that brings up the 50. A lovely shot. It was short outside off stump, and there was only one place that uh, really had to go, and that was over the top of cover point, and that's exactly where it went, like a rocket. It's going to be fascinating uh, for me, Tony, to see if they decide to target Monty Zondecki. Brand new in the game, of course. Very, very talented, but inexperienced. And he's bowling to some very, very experienced batsmen from Sri Lanka. Gone again. That's even better. That flew away. Well, if he bowls like that, he'll very definitely be the target. But he won't be the target for long because he'll be out of the attack. What you've got to hope is that... Um, look, it's a bit of thought for the kid as well. First over, this is, uh, this is tense stuff. Boucher's run down that little chat to him. Obviously knows him pretty well from his neck of the woods. Pollock is there waiting for him now. Just a little chat to him. Nothing too, nothing too much. Just, uh, just get it up a little bit. Bowl that length. It screamed away backward a square. As Barry Richard said, there is a man back there, but and that was only about 15 yards to his left. He had no chance. He flays it. Played it a little bit later than you would have perhaps liked. I was in the air for a while. Such yeah. pace, though. Those have got to go straight to a fielder, otherwise it's four. Sean Pollock uh, at the start, six overs, none for 24, McCain Tina. It was a good double from those two with the first 12 overs. The one wicket to Jacques Callas. Always got to try and peg things back now from his end. That's uh, away, that's going to go for four. That's gone very quickly indeed. Four runs, well played. Slightly wide and taken advantage of. A delightful batting here once again by Marvin Atapato. He's got that little bit of freedom to move his arms. And he slashes at that. He gets the middle of the bat. Again, going to show what uh, good timing he's had in this innings. Just imagine how good that shot would have been, uh, Ranjit, if he kept two hands on the bat. It's a one-handed shot. Well played. Callis. Whipped away leg side. Good shot. That's beaten the man, Makai Tini. He's going to have to chase it. He's doing a bit of a squatting at the moment, but uh, he'll tag it. And that brings up the 50. <laughs> For Marvin Atapatu, his 46th one day international 50. And he's also got 800s. Short ball again. That's uh, off the splice of the bat. Down towards Zondeki, who can't get across. And Callis will not be too happy with that boundary being conceded off the last ball of the over. 100 up now for Sri Lanka. 24 overs gone. 101 for three. Sri Lankans need a partnership here. And uh, they'll have to force him into indiscretion. 
That is a fine stroke. That is really well played. Wasn't an out and out half a volley. Indication also of how good this track is. Fine stroke from Atapatu. Oh, what a glorious shot by Marvin Atapatu this time. And on drive, he's been playing so fluently all around the wicket. This is a tough shot to play. Just turning that face around and uh, threading the needle between the midon and the bowler. The South Africans will have a uh, very good memory of Marvin Atapatu. Last year, November, December. So look at him play that glorious on drive again. He scored 123 not out against them. Isn't it from the Old Fort Road end? Down the wicket, Atapatu hits it wide and mid off. Beautiful stroke, and to describe it for you, Barry Richards with Mike Hazeman. Thanks, Robin. Yes, down the track, very well struck. Graham Smith, it was, who was uh, at the mid-off position, was never really in the hunt. Graham Smith it was hit very well indeed. He's played some glorious strokes today at Tapatu. He knew he was going for four first up. Once again, just a little off cutter from uh, Klusner, and it disappeared for four. That is a fine stroke. Gee, that's a beauty. That really is so well played. Down the track and gave himself some room as well and slapped it for another boundary off the last ball of the over. Eight runs on that over as well. 36 gone, 168 for three. Width and great shot. Wow, what a good shot that is. That is sped across the turf for four. He's played a few of those. They are just gorgeous. The way he strikes the ball through the offside, Marvin Adepadu, the minimum of fuss and the maximum of placement. And those are the fielders out there, so he just goes a little straighter. Why bother to run when you hit him like this? What a nice way to go to the 90s. Will they target the last ball, and will he get his 100? Mark Boucher's told mid-off to go a bit deeper. That's through. That's gone. That's 100. Brilliant stuff. That's his ninth one-day international 100 for Marvin Atapatu, and what a way to bring it up. His teammates have thoroughly enjoyed that. He's put on an exhibition today. It's been an outstanding knock, and he's still got overs to go. The ninth ODI. They realise that uh, a boundary and over is easily achievable when you're seeing the ball as well as these two are. Uh, there's Marvin Adepadu, 900s, strike rate 67, much better today. Gee, what a good shot that is. Wow, that is a terrific shot. Down the track, gave yourself some room, backed away and slapped it through the covers for four. Five runs off the over in the end, 41 gone, 199 for three. So another record down. Great shot. That is a terrific shot. Wow. Magnificent stuff from uh, Marvin Atapatu towards Friendship Corner. Yeah, just looking for the block hole again, Lance Klusen. And if you miss, it's on a good length. And Marvin Atapatu, he can hit it in any direction. Favors the offside, gives himself a little bit of room. There's no fielder out there. Just missed by a fraction, Lance Klusen. Over the top of mid-wicket, Jacques Callas is the man that uh, is only about six foot three instead of about eight foot three. Two runs result. Ten runs off the over so far. Whip that away as well. Has he picked up a boundary to finish? No, he hasn't. Gary Kirsten does extremely well in that region. But they come back for two, so that's a huge over for Sri Lanka. Twelve runs coming from it, 42 gone, 211 for three. Yeah, what a good shot again by Marvin Atapatu, and that's running down for four. Flicked away, the ball pitched on middle stump, and he whips it away. There's one man down there protecting the boundaries, but he really cannot get to it. These Sri Lankans certainly are on fire. This partnership has really looked good. 139. Oh boy, are they piling it on now. We thought we were going to have some fun towards the end of this innings, and there's still six overs to go after this delivery. Six overs with... Uh, Seven wickets in hand. Straight down the ground. This is going to be out. Yes, it's going to be out. He's got in. At last, the South Africans have got Adapadu. That brings to an end a superb innings. Marvin Adapadu.
will remember this one for as long as he lives. He has played some of the best shots. Well, he's played some of the best cover drives that I've seen anyone bat for a long time. He's getting a standing ovation. Or oh, you could say what a great player he is, accomplished at that. Marvin Atapato, this had to come to an end, and he holds out to Peterson. So oh, he really gets a standing ovation here. The flag's fluttering away. Even the South Africans are applauding this great innings. Marvin Atapato goes Sri Lanka 242 for four.